guys, I am back again today for yet another Scooby-Doo movie review. And that movie is a rut row Watch a movie. The movie is Chill Out Scooby-Doo, the original movie, as you can see there. Uh, Chill Out Scooby-Doo, the original movie. I don't know if, I know you're probably thinking, heck, why don't you know? But, um, this, I don't know if this was a, like a special bundle, because it has like, I don't know if you can see it, like that 3D... And it can slide out and everything. It's like a bundle, it looks like to me. But I don't know if this is how it was in every disc. But, uh, I don't know. But Maybe tell, say something in the comments. But, I don't know. But it's the original movie. <coughs> and it's Snow Joke. The Mystery Inc. crew really gets frozen with fright. And here is the, see, it's a bundle, the same thing. And then the disc here. Uh, it's going to be Chill Out, original movie. And then, here's the disc here. Alright. Let's get started with this review. I'm pumped, I'm ready to go! I'm pumped, I'm ready to go! Okay. Anyways, Chill Out Scooby-Doo. Yeah. This is a good movie, I'm just saying. And, I'm going to basically, this... This description can probably tell way better than I can. Uh, but I'm just going to sum up, sum it up in my own words. So I'm not exactly, it's not going to be a boring video of me just saying the things on the back of the disc. That would just be boring. Boring! Okay. So, let me explain the summary in my own words of Chill Out Scooby-Doo. So basically, the summary of Chill Out Scooby-Doo, um, well, obviously the monster, I don't know if you can tell, it's the, uh, Abominable Snowman. There, also known as the Yeti. A lot of things with Bigfoot in it. We just did Monster of Mexico, and then we get the Yeti? <laughs> I don't care. But uh, I love Scooby Doo, so uh, no problem with me. Uh, anyways, the summary of this movie is basically Scooby and Shaggy go on this plane that they think is going to Paris because the gang is going on a vacation yet again to Paris, to, uh, which is supposedly the most romantic place in the world. I don't know if it's France or... I think it's Paris, but I don't know. But, um, they go to Paris. The gang goes to Paris to spend a little vacation there. Of course, Daphne and Velma wants to go shopping. Well, Velma doesn't want to go shopping, but obviously Daphne does. Velma obviously likes solving mysteries and stuff. And then Scooby and Shaggy like eating their food. Probably going to eat some pasta there. What? Spoiler. They don't. They're not in Paris anymore after this. And Fred, you know, just is like, yeah, I, I can't wait. He He's kind of, I don't know, he doesn't really feel, I'm not thinking he's feeling Paris that much. So, good thing they didn't go to Paris. No surprise at all. Scooby and Shaggy want to come to see the gang in Paris, but they end up going to, <clears throat> they end up getting on a plane that this guy supposedly says is going to Paris. But, Pretty much, I think the only reason Shaggy and Scooby went on that plane is because this guy basically said, all you can eat, and he just kept giving them food and food, and they just thought, oh yeah, he's taking us to Paris. No. He's taking them to Antarctica to see the Abominable Snowman. This is like a hiker guy. He's like an explorer that wants to look for things that people have died looking for, basically, but um, he's like adventurous, I guess. And Scooby and Shaggy are on this plane. They have no idea that they're going to Antarctica. They just think they're eating free food and enjoying going to Paris, but no. They're going to Antarctica. Long story short, they get thrown inside a box and thrown out of a plane onto a mountain, actually. I think Mount Everest. Yeah, I, I think they, they're on Mount Everest. They get thrown off a plane onto Mount Everest, flying down into this village where this person says... Don't go up there, the abominable snowman will get you. Of course, when the gang gets there, they want to find Shaggy and Scooby, and Shaggy calls them and he says, Like, can't talk to you now, falling out of a plane or whatever. And Casey Kasem's in this movie, which is great. I'm glad they have Casey Kasem in this movie. That makes it that much better with the original Casey Kasem. And Frank Walker! Frank Walker's doing Scooby Doo in this movie. I think he's pretty good at Scooby Doo, so I don't mind Frank Walker being Scooby Doo and Fred. He is darn good at him. Anyway, they fall into the mountain, and they go to this village, where, um, they go in, and they just happen to fall in, uh, to this ancient 
place, temple, you would say. And uh, this guy says, oh yeah, don't go up there, the Yeti will get you, basically. And they basically tell this tale of the Yeti, and uh, very interesting characters in here as well. And Shaggy and Scooby leave to go up to find the Yeti with this professor, actually. Yeah, there's a professor something, I forget his name. There's this professor, and there's like his assistant, I guess, coming along. This guy's assistant, he's an older brother of his younger sister, and he doesn't want her to get in, um, get in any trouble with the Abominable Snowman, basically. And yeah, they just basically fight the Abominable Snowman, get scared of the Abominable Snowman, run away from the Abominable Snowman, and of course, eat Scooby Snacks. And uh, this is a great movie, great fun. Um, of course, they meet the Abominable Snowman, they're in Antarctica. It's just kind of a unique environment to be in with the Scooby-Doo movie. I think that's what made it really great. Is It's just a unique environment to be in. And yet again, this is not rated. Seriously. You should really rate this G. This is a G movie. This should be a G movie. But, uh, I don't know. But, um, yeah, this is lots of funny scenes of them running from the monster and, excuse me, Casey Kasem, who was brought back as Shaggy in this movie, Casey Kasem goes back to some of his radio days in this one. They're like on this radio station, they're like, alright, Scoob, you want me to do my radio impression? And Casey Kasem kind of gets a little bit of his um, radio talk show days into his Scooby-Doo movie, which I think is kind of really cool on Casey Kasem's part. So, uh, this is just a fun-filled movie. They're running away from the abominable snowman, um, who supposedly real, but obviously is not. And, uh, they're basically running away from the Abominable Snowman, and all this professor cares about is getting the money and getting the fame. Ha, ah, ha, I got the Abominable Snowman. They take out the mask. It's fake. Oh, I'm not famous. But, <laughs> um, yeah. Shaggy and Scooby just really want to get back to Paris, but, you know, the gang needs to solve When Velma gets hot in a trail of a mystery, they just need to solve it. And it's just fun filled, them running away from the monster, them getting separated, Casey Case inventing his radio days, and uh, a guy from the Loch Ness Monster as well. Uh, and they, uh, yeah, basically just run away from the monster, and they, ha there's great laughs in here with Casey Kasem and Scooby-Doo and Shaggy and all that, and the gang, and it's just a fun filled movie once again, filled with scuba special features. And, um, as well, yeah, it's a very good movie. Lots of laughs. For younger children, this is a great movie, once again. And from a rate of 1 to 5, I would give this a 4.5. It is a pretty good, fun-filled Scooby-Doo movie. I can say it's not their best movie, but I know this would be fairly entertaining for younger kids. This is fairly entertaining to me, too. I just didn't find it to be their best Scooby-Doo movie. I thought they could have done a little bit better. Um, and adding a little bit more funny moments from Shaggy and Scooby in this movie. But other than that, it's a great movie. It engages you. It's an interesting story plot. And it would definitely keep anyone engaged watching. So, uh, yeah, I'll rate this, um, five out of five. I mean, no, four and a half stars. This is a great movie to watch. Like I said, it's just my opinion. It's not their best movie, but it is a great movie. And it engages you extremely to watch. And it's just a thrill to watch. But, like I said... Not the best movie. That's my opinion. Put in the comments what your opinion is, but just, yeah, I think everyone would enjoy it, though. So, thank you guys, and I hope you enjoy.